This summer, Coventry City Council brought together 35 organisations to run holiday clubs and activities for children and young people across the city through the Holiday Activities and Food Programme, or HAF Programme. These clubs were primarily for children accessing benefits related free school meals and a meal was provided alongside every session. Funded by the Department for Education, over 50 holiday clubs took place providing thousands of Coventry children and young people opportunities to take part in a range of exciting and engaging activities. These included creative and arts masterclasses, sports, games, learning about nutrition and they went on trips having new experiences. This has helped them to build new friendships, learn new skills and to develop their well-being. The HAF programme has come at a really important time for Coventry. Lots of young people need somewhere to go, safe places, positive places where they can learn, but most importantly, have some fun. When the information was sent to us from the HAF team, um, we knew straight away that that would benefit the families that we have here at Holy Family and in the local community. The biggest benefit for the young people is the fact that they get a new experience that they probably, or they might not have come across otherwise, um, and being fully supported to know that you know, they have food and they're able to come and um, it doesn't feel like a barrier. I feel like this has removed the barriers to participation. Uh, it was very good, very fun, because normally I'm at home, probably on my phone or I'm just playing outside. But today I got to try something new. When they are coming here, they are doing some different activities. That's increasing their, you know, uh, creativity in their mind. And in the end, there is a sense of accomplishment. You know, cooking meals from scratch might not be something that they've been able to do before or something they've not got a lot of experience in. So it helps them to, to understand uh, different things like different types of fruit and vegetables, different cooking utensils, how you can go from all these raw ingredients to actually having a, a meal that they can, they can cook and eat from, from scratch. Well, the major benefit obviously is an opportunity to make friends which is hugely important for, for any teenager, particularly for children with SCN, getting a balanced diet can be really difficult because people can be quite particular about the foods they eat. Um, so this is an opportunity really for the young people to explore and try some things in a different way but also developing the skills that they need to cook and prepare the food themselves um, and they're more likely to eat it if they've prepared it themselves as well quality activities that they've been able to do have actually set them up for the return to school in September. A lot of them are on similar pages of like feeling a bit anxious or nervous about that start. Um, so that's definitely been helpful for them to kind of get used to that routine. Um, I'll definitely remember kind of helping out and it's been really almost humbling to be able to give back in a way that's really benefiting people and kind of the results are really apparent really quickly. Really important that we're engaging with the community. Um, we're out at schools quite often during the week but it's really nice to have that change and have people come to us. We've been able to run different activities for them because of the space we've got here, um, do a stadium tour and it's just been really enjoyable to see. Their experience of meeting other local figures so like the police department, the fire service, the ambulance service, it's all different educational things that they've, we've been able to provide through HAF, which has obviously had a greater effect on these young people. It really builds on that community cohesion. It's very important for the community because it helps a lot of poor families and because most of the families are on a living wage or even on benefits, so they have a job to feed the families. So really, it is most important. Yes, we provide the activities, we provide a, a hot meal, but it goes deeper than that. Uh, it's about the social uh, interaction, and, as well as the learning and the education for the kids, but also, crucially, the social interaction for parents as well. I have enjoyed making new friends at Coventry Cup. I think it's like very helpful for like ADHD people and autism because I think it would really help them with their stress. Without this programme, I wouldn't have got the opportunities and the experience that comes with uh, uh, the programme being given by university and the future pathways in careers. It's a fantastic workshop and I'll definitely come again. Seeing this has already made me know that like, we are in the heart of the government, we are in the heart of the community. They really care about our mental health and I really appreciate 
the organizers i really appreciate everyone involved in making this a success i really and i look forward to many more of it i would like it to even like it should be happening every year i think half has to be a partnership it has to be a partnership of people bringing their own strengths their own uh, knowledge and experience and working alongside one another as equals i think that is so important There are so many more benefits than just the activity that you're doing. So yeah, I mean, I, I love the, the fact that we've done this this summer and I really want to continue it. Um, and if we can find funding to do that, I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that. So if we were to continue it again next year, for me, for CV Live, I would want swimming to be absolute heart of it, but I'd want to throw in there how we can offer more lessons, you know, maybe involve the parents a little bit more in that. For them looking back in a year's time, two years time, knowing that places like Coventry Boys and Girls Club have provided activities and food and programmes to support them, not just um, to feed them, but life skills, skills that they're going to take away from this, teamwork, etc. So I think it's been a great experience for us and I think Coventry Boys and Girls Club will 100% do it again. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that's been involved in Coventry Half this summer. Department for Education, the programme team, clubs, parents and carers, and most importantly, the children and young people who have come along. We hope that Coventry Half has brightened up your summer. We do hope there's more funding for Half, both nationally and in Coventry, moving forward. So children and young people and families, look out for Half activities at Christmas and into the future, and don't miss out. that I would d describe the workshop would be fantastic.